Welcome to our St Gabriel's Worship from Home for this week. It's great to welcome you from wherever you are joining us from today and whenever you are joining us. As you can tell, we are not broadcasting from our on-site worship this week. Over the year, we mix up between broadcasting from our on-site worship and also from here, which is the Conservatory of the Vicarage, which has been used as a chapel on Kings Hill for many years for services and for online worship over the many years that St Gabriel's has been running. Whatever worship you are watching, whether it's on site or from here, from the chapel, the songs are similar. The uh, word, the Bible reading and also the talk are the same. And the prayers and the songs, while similar, may be slightly different. When we pre-record like we do from the chapel, it is an expression of worship from St Gabriel's. If you wish to find out what it is like at our on-site worship, go back uh, via our YouTube or Facebook channels and you can see what's going on. Over the next 30 or so minutes, we are going to pray, we're going to sing songs, and we are going to read and reflect on the Bible. So as we come into this time of worship, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence among us. You promise where one or two are gathered, so you will be with us. And so now, as we gather together to worship together, be with us, we pray. Inspire us by your Spirit. Give us new revelations. We pray this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, we're going to sing our first song of praise together, so let's sing together now. Praise Him, you heavens and all that's above. Praise Him, you angels and heavenly hosts.
So having sung together, we come to the time of our worship where we say sorry to God for those things that we have done that separate us from the, his love and from the love of others. Sometimes it's things we have left undone. Sometimes it's things that we've said we're going to do that we don't do. Sometimes it's words that we say that we don't really mean, but are in the heat of the moment are hurtful. And sometimes it's because we don't pray or read our Bibles and communicate with God. They're those things that Jesus called sin when he walked the earth. And we're going to take a moment privately to say sorry. And having said sorry, please join me with the words that come up beside me. Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy upon us. Bring us back to yourself as those who were once dead, but now have life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And because we have a loving Heavenly Father, may you know the forgiveness of the Father through the death of his Son. And may you live in the power of the Holy Spirit now and always. Amen. At our on-site worship, Canon Gordon Oliver is leading our reflections and our service. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 to 34. If you have a Bible, please read along with us. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground, night and day. Whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprout and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. Again, he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like, or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them, as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Last week at St Gabriel's, we started a new series on the idea of connecting and using the God-given situations to connect with others. We looked and thought about sports and the connections we have and the fact that we were built to connect. Have a look at last week's service on YouTube or on Facebook to find out more. Today's Bible reading helps us reflect on what small connections can make. Jesus talked about the idea of a small seed, the mustard seed, that grows to become large. And I wonder if we realise the small points of connections we make with people and how they can grow and become strong relationships and relationships that lead people to Christ. I wonder what connections you are making in your life that will lead to big relationships that connect people with Christ. I wonder whether you use stories like Jesus did to tell the story of Jesus's works in your life to connect other people to Jesus. Jesus used parables. He talked in stories so people would relate. I wonder if you tell the stories of Jesus in your life to others so you may connect with them. I wonder what ways you are using both stories and small connections to lead people to Christ. 
I wonder whether you have a story that you could tell people around you, whether it's children, grandchildren, friends, family, or even people you meet in the street. I wonder in what ways Jesus is inviting you to plant small seeds in people's lives this week. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will guide us to new people this week to share our faith. Help us to connect, however small it may seem, with other people so we can grow your kingdom. Help us to use the stories of you in our lives to share our faith with others. We pray this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
so having sung again we're going to take a time to pray for our world and for ourselves so let us pray in these moments lord we pray for peace across the world we pray for peace in ukraine in the war there but we also pray now especially for the situation in israel that peace will abound we pray for each side that they may find sense we pray for all those people who are losing and have lost loved ones in war and those who will continually f lose people in this coming week lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for all those known to us and in our community who have lost a child we especially pray for those who have lost children that they have never met as well as those who mourn their gorgeous children lord in your mercy hear our prayer and lord we pray in to our community for those who are ill or suffering those facing medical appointments and worrying diagnoses those who lay awake worried about a condition or a diagnosis that is upcoming we give you thanks lord for the nurses and doctors and healthcare professionals in our community we pray that you'll give them wisdom and strength in all they do and lord we pray for carers for those who day in day out care for a loved one through whatever illness that they have lord in your mercy hear our prayer and finally lord we pray for our church here on king's hill we pray that it will be a sign and strength of you we pray that it will shine you in all it does and says we pray that people will come to know you through us and that people will come to worship with us and we pray that all our services may shine your light and proclaim Christ in all we do and say. Lord, accept these prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We conclude our time of prayer by saying the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Well, we come towards the end of our service. In a moment, we're going to sing... But before we do that, just a reminder that you can donate to St. Gabriel's um, or via our website. You can join us on site or online every week. And you can find out all about the life of St. Gabriel's through our social media channels and by subscribing to our newsletter. And if you wish to donate to St. Gabriel's Food Bank, please just um, either do that via cash online or um, put a message to us via our Facebook or email and, um, and you can find out more on our website and we can let you know how to donate. So as we go, may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Go into this week in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Let us sing together. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washed in
in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. Savior all the day long. 